two, one. Today is Halloween. Halloween. Halloween is tonight. And we've been working on our costumes for so long. So long. First you complain about reading the book. Now you complain that we're not reading the book. I don't know what you want, Mr. Darth Vader. No one can seem to make you happy, Darth Vader. Did you want to talk about how to trick or treat for people who don't know how to do it? So that means you also don't want to talk about how to have patience for Halloween? To wait for it? Should we just jump into the book? Okay, we'll jump into this book. Three, two, one. Trick or Treat Texas, written by Eric James, illustrated by Carl West. By us. The full moon's out on Halloween. The sky is starry and bright. Above the state of Texas appears an airy light. <gasps> what is that light? Where did it come from? Breaking. It's not coming from the direction of the moon. There's a Aliens has approached. It darts behind the scattered clouds. Aliens. It zips from town to town. It hovers over San Antonio. Gets then it. slowly heads D O W N down. It's oh. moving all over. A ramp shoots out. Mm. A hatch appears. <sighs> Smoke dun, pours dun, into the dun, air. Dun, a chilling alien silhouette gives owls and wolves mommy. a scare. Mommy. It Are steps out of the thick white fog. Mommy, I need a, a, a sound effect. Dawn, dawn, dawn. Its skin is neon green. This alien is, without a doubt, you. The Ow! cutest thing I've ever seen! Look, he's got a map of Texas, and even Let's cats go like back. him. Let's go back. Dawn, 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 dawn. I am Welcome to Texas. Look, the bats love him. The squirrels love him. Look, the squirrels not running away from him. The dogs are happy to see him. The cats are purring. That is not a human. It's not a human. Looks like a human, but not a human. Bum, Here's bum, a map of bum, Texas. Bum, 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 bum. There's Dallas. That's where we are. There's Galveston. We've been there. Yeah. Or Amarillo. We've been there, too. There's just so much to do. And what about Mommy? Lake Travis? But first, a trip Mommy? to the Fort Worth Zoo. Have we been at these places? Yes, we have. Okay. Yep, we went to all of those places. So there's only five continents of here. No, this is one state within the continent of, the North, of North America. He pulls out his transporter and waves it in the air. Now, in the spot where we just stood, there's nobody there. What? He teleported? Mommy? He reappears in Austin and wanders all around, making Mommy? sure that he checks off each landmark Mommy? that he found. Why do you ever keep forgetting hot cocoa? We will have hot cocoa tonight. Sounds good? Yeah. Okay. Are we going to make hot cocoa? Yes. Today? With the tiny marshmallows. Okay. Okay. Can me and Ivy help you? There's nothing really to help. Okay. It's just warming it up in a pot and putting it in a cup. Mm. It's not much else to do. It's, it's not that serious. Okay. Okay. Back to the book. Okay, back to the book. 
top five tourist spots, Fort Worth Zoo, State Capitol Austin, Dallas Arboretum and Botanical Garden, Six Flags Over Texas Arlington, Space Center Houston. I think we've done all of those things. Okay, maybe not Six Flags. We didn't do Six Flags, but we pass it all the time. He zaps over to Houston to take a little look, snapping selfies as he goes and posting them on Spacebook. Spacebook. Ocean? Whoa. But where is everybody? Are they staying in tonight? He climbs up high to take a peek and gets a nasty fright. <gasps> All around this spooky town, the streets are jammed and heaving. Monsters, monsters everywhere. It's time that he was leaving. Look at that. Oh, it was a monster parade in Blue Bonnet Park. I'd better run, the alien says. Wait, I'm mommy, not a big, mommy, big this, hero. Mommy, this is for, this is fun, this page is Sponsored for Dun 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 Where are you I'm pretty sure the makers of that theme song did not sponsor this episode. It's sponsored by the book. No, it's not. It's sponsored N neither by one the of them have paid us. Okay. We took our own money and bought this book. Okay. I'd better run the alien says. I'm not a big brave hero. Oh no, my gizmo doesn't work. The battery gauge reads zero. What's he going to do? They're closing in. There's no escape. He scrunches up his eyes. The monster's all around him, but he gets a big surprise. Da -da -da -da. Hey, high five, dude, a vampire shouts. Great costume, shrieks a ghoul. A little ghost tugs at his arm and says, I think you're cool. That's Sherry. So you don't want to eat me then? The little alien asks. They laugh until they're so red-faced. They must take off their masks. Woo-wee. They're revealing that they're really humans, not monsters. Sweet antennae, smiles the ghost. While giving them a flick, the little children shriek. What happens next is just the coolest trick. The jack o' lanterns all take off and float into the sky. Mommy, there's a sherry thing now. We're all supposed to hide with our blanket now. Mommy, are you going to hide? Yeah. Okay. Where are you going to hide? You, you just punched me in the face. Where are you going to hide? Uh, right here in the closet. <laughs> How? Oh, wow, they gasp. Mm -hmm. It looks like you're a real-life alien guy. Just because he got some technology, he got to be an alien. That is so disrespectful. The children dance excitedly. They shout, can you do more? The alien shows them lots of tricks as they go door to door. He's giving them the tricks when they don't get treats. These antics impress everyone, which comes in really handy because it means before too long, their bags are filled with candy. candy. Trick or treat street. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. It's or getting treat. late. I'd better go, the alien says at last. I promise I'll come back next year. Texas Wait. is a blast. Wait, the rocket ship carrying the airplane or the airplane carrying the rocket ship? Yes, it's the airplane carrying a rocket ship. Why? A space shuttle. Haven't you been on that before? Yeah, we went on it when we went to to the Houston Space Station. Mm -hmm. I haven't yeah, I mean, it went wasn't there. The actual thing. It was a um, thing. I haven't went there. You did with the, we have pictures of you there. Well, yeah. that's the proof. And go on the face. It's when we stayed in the house with and the stilts. Go to and go in the shop. I got pictures of you in there. And go to the ship, though. And there's Lander Park. <laughs> there's the Fort Worth Zoo. Wait, mommy. Yeah. Um. Do you remember when Ivy was in Face by Ivy self? 
Mm-hmm. And me and you and Nighty went to a place mm-hmm. where animals was in a cage. Um, I would not mm-hmm. like to remember that. That was San Diego. Why well, remember that? I know. I don't like thinking of animals in cages. Why well, remember? That's the Alamo. I don't know what that is. It's a building in San Antonio. It's like historic. Okay. They take him to the spaceship, his spaceship, and say their goodbyes. They wait for him to start it up and zoom into the skies. Look, he's got a bumper sticker that says, I love Texas. Wait, wait, don't. I'm, I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this. I have to say goodbye. Bye, friends. I'm going back to space. <clears throat> but something isn't right because it makes the weirdest sound. The witch points under. No. The witch? Oh, yes, there's a witch. Huh. The witch points underneath and asks, What is that on the ground? <laughs> His spaceship has a fuel leak. There's thick goo everywhere. Aw, oh, shucks, he says. It looks like I'm going, I'm not going anywhere. It's a dog. He's going nowhere. Yeah, it's a dog. It's that's a poopy dog. Mm-hmm. Did I say poopy? The werewolf <coughs> hands out a bubble gum. The werewolf hands out bubble gum and shouts, "Come on, guys, chew. We'll stretch the gum across the hole and stick it down like glue." Sweet. So they're patching up the fuel leak oh, and, with bubble gum. Oh, mommy, the gas is candy. Oh, we'll fill the tank with candy. Ah! We've got buckets of the stuff. We Throw got it more in gas. up to the brim. We got more gas. That should be just enough. We yep, got, we got some gas. gas. Who knew alien ships were powered by candy? Mm, uh, mm, 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 mm. The spaceship is now ready. The alien turns the key. The engine roars. The spaceship Mommy, soars and the zooms off one. with a. I read the last one. Goodbye, bye, bye, bye. I'll miss you. I hope you have a good day. Me too. Bye, 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 bye. Goodbye, world. I like your Texas. I love your Texas. I mean, I love Texas. Goodbye. But now it's diving back to Earth. The children shake with fear. Ah, he's just flying past. To wave, wait, ah, he's just flying past to wave and say, see you next year. Oh, I think he's going to crash. See you next year. Happy Halloween, Texas. Happy Halloween, Texas. Yeah, you read it. Goodbye. Happy Halloween, Texas. Halloween. That's the end. Can we read this? That's just the copyright stuff. <laughs> I want to read. I wish we can read, so read it. it. it back. Written by Eric James. <laughs> illustrated by Carl West. Additional work by Morano Emblom. Designed by Ryan Dunn. Copyright Hometown World. Limited. 2019. Okay, Oliver, I have a question for you. What? How did you have patience all this time waiting for Halloween? Chicken butt. No more chicken butt for the rest of the day. How about all we turn? Do you know what day it is? It's it Halloween. Is. Yeah, but it's, oh, yeah. Yeah. How I got the patience to, um, Wait for Halloween, I got the patience for it. You just got the patience for it? No, I just waited. No calendar, no nothing.
even though you ask me every single day, how many days left or how many days every day? So you tell me after a while you just got it. You didn't need the calendar anymore. You're good. You can just wait. I can just wait for Halloween, Mommy, Halloween. And keep, and we should still have the calendar so I know when I'm going to get the thing. Okay. How did you have patience, Miss Ann Amelia? I kept look I look I kept looking at the calendar until it's I kept looking at the calendar until it said October thirty first and then I knew it's Halloween time. Halloween celebration And also I watched like somewhat spooky stuff. Mommy do you want to see somewhat spooky Mommy games. do you want to see a creepy thing? Mm-hmm. Cray? Mm hmm <laughs> oh, we did watch a spooky thing, didn't we? Yeah. One Mommy, of those spooky look things at was go goosebumps. Mommy, look at this. <laughs> was goosebumps scary? Mommy, mommy. Which one? Mommy, get the, mommy. the new one. Mommy, guess what? Mommy, so not guess the one that we saw on like Netflix. No, mommy, that's the guess Jack Black what? one. Mommy, yeah. guess what? Guess what? This is the one where the guy bought the mommy. house. Mommy, yeah, guess what? Yeah, that was a bit spooky. Was a bit mommy, spooky. guess what? Yeah. That's scary. Your face is looking scary right now. Creepy, scary Halloween. You better be scary. Better be. Sh Mommy, what's the Halloween music? What's the Halloween song? There's lots of Halloween songs. Halloween, Halloween. Mommy, guess what? What? <laughs> That's not your toy, Oliver. Please don't break somebody else's toy. Thank you. Okay. You think this is its head and this is its arms? No, that's its feet and that's the tail. <laughs> Why well, I think that's how head smart you are. You got to turn things upside down to entertain yourself. All right, guys. I'm going to try to be patient. I don't really feel like y'all gave me any good tips. On how I'll to be give you a tip. I'll give you a spooky I'll get, spooky mommy, game. I'll give you a tip. Just keep looking at the calendar. Spooky movies and spooky games. Okay. Mommy, just keep looking at the calendar. How about, since we're at the library, I'll do spooky books. Because I can't wait. Good option, too. To get all the full-size chocolate candy bars. All the chocolate that I'm not supposed to buy and eat. I, I want get to have on this one night. I want this chocolate. I want this. I'm thinking about kind of. this. I'm not fighting you for my chocolate. Ball. You get your own chocolate. I'm thinking you trick a treat for your own chocolate, and I'll trick a treat for my chocolate. I'm thinking about the stress ball I'm going to achieve. Stress yes. bomb? The what is a stress ball? ball? Like I'm real. It's going to be so nice and when creepy, I finally creepy, get it in my hands. Black. Mm -hmm. And you can Cardboard. feel squishy eyeballs. Cardboard black. <laughs> What costume are you wearing? Darth Vader is another ship. The dark side. Darth Vader. Mm -hmm. Rules the entire. Almost the entire empire. Mm -hmm. But I don't understand why everyone thinks that Darth Vader is the ruler. Wasn't he like always hanging behind somebody? No, like Darth Sidious. Dark Sidious. Yeah, Darth Sidious. Darth Sidious, is the ruler. Sidious rules the Darth entire... Vader is just his his pupil. <laughs> his <laughs> underling. <laughs> <laughs> I understand what they're saying. Well, it's kind of like how. Darth Daddy Darth is like Daddy's. older Darth and Daddy's. wiser, and then Mommy, you're his. Mommy, I want to tell his... you a joke. I want to tell you a joke. You're his Padawan. I want to tell you a joke. It's a chicken butt. Darth Daddy is. Mm hmm. Darth Daddy is, is hilarious. Yes, Darth Daddy is hilarious. Mommy, do you know why? Except 
not to everybody else because Darth Daddyus was scaring all the kids at the Halloween parade. Annie, do you know what a human dinosaur looks like? What does a human dinosaur look like? Uh, this, you? This. It looks like this. No, it looks like you. No, it looks like this. <laughs> or maybe this. Your dino uh, uh, Dino Sidious? Who's yeah. Dino Redius? <laughs> Or dino chicken butts. What? What? What's your obsession with chicken butts? <laughs> Mommy, guess what? Chicken what? butt. Yep. And I'm sure Miss Animalia does oh, not be, want to talk oh, about what Miss Animalia is wearing. Miss Animalia, your costume. My costume's a sim. A corrupted sim? Indeed. Indeed you do. Indeed you do. Indeed you do. And some people saw that I was a sim. And I was happy. Yeah, because you had your plum bob on. Mm -hmm. And all the sims were plum bobs. Mm -hmm. Indeed. That is a divining feature of a sim. Yep. Plum bob above their head, just rotating. Mm hmm. And I'm poison ivy. But it's cold outside. So I'm not doing my arm makeup the way I did for all the other Halloween things that I went to. Because it's so cold. It's too cold. It's too I might cold. put it on my face for trick-or-treating because people will see it better and I can scare little kids. <laughs> no, you can't. You won't you scare. Can't. But Poison, I Poison Ivy wasn't trying to scare little kids. As a matter of fact, it was a little kid who wasn't scared of Poison Ivy that helped no, her out. Mm -hmm. Mommy, once there was a kid here. A poison ivy, that was me, but no longer. I am Darth Vader. Never <laughs> shared. Ruler of. of. the, the Empire. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Darth Sidious rules Darth Vader. Yes. Because even as a Sith Lord, Anakin could not be in control of his own destiny. No. Anakin is Darth... I'm not... Wait, mate. I'm not Darth Vader. I'm Darth Vader, a.k.a. AKA Anakin. Mm -hmm. Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> so, how do you trick-or-treat? Okay. Are we going trick-or-treating? I think yeah. so. Tonight, how how do you trick-or-treat? Um, you say Happy Halloween and people will give you candy. Just from saying Happy Halloween? <laughs> you just go up to the door and knock and say trick or treat and, they will, and they'll usually give you candy. Oh, that sounds easy enough. Mm -hmm. Especially if you just, you, you don't even have to put on a full costume. You can just put a sheet over your head. What? You can just put over a sheet over oh, your head okay. and, and they'll still give you the candy. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But you gotta put a sheet on. Yeah, you gotta put something spooky okay. up. You gotta put on some costume. Okay. You can't just go as a person. What are some other things that you see or hear or do mm -hmm. while trick or treating? Spooky. Scare them. Scare them. I see spooky stuff. I see spooky decorations. Say, boom, boom, and spooky boom. animatronics. Because oh, yeah, people are buying animatronics. Like, animatronics. Animatronics. Like. A party city has like a row of animatronics. Yeah, people spend and thousands of dollars like on on, on their Halloween How decorations. How dare they do this to Freddy? How dare they take the face off from Freddy? Freddy Krueger? What? What? You said Freddy on a Halloween episode. Only Freddy I know on Halloween is Freddy Krueger. He's talking about like Freddy Fazbear from this video game. Oh, okay. So, I mean, technically, it's a scary game, so. It's scary. not really a scary game when it's destroyed, it's scary. So, <laughs> what are some, some trick-or-treat treats that you're looking forward to receiving or hoping to receive? An eyeball stretch, stretch ball. Mm -hmm. First time I went trick-or-treating, I got, like, this eyeball stretch ball, and I love it, but I squeezed it too hard, and it popped. Oh, you must have been really stressed out. No, I wasn't that stressed. I just liked seeing it go. Oh, okay. 
So I'm hoping that they're giving those out okay. still. I hope they didn't like, I hope it's not like a different thing each year. I hope they still have it. Okay. Because if they do, I will be really happy and I'll make, and if I can grab two, I'll make sure to grab two. Okay. Ollie? Yes? What treat are you looking forward most to getting while trick or treating? Me and you are finding chocolate. 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 You will take the chocolate piece by piece. Like a piece of cake. Like a piece of chocolate cake. So we're on the hunt for chocolate. Yeah. What about you, Mommy? I mean, Oliver just said it. Okay. We're on the hunt for chocolate. And we don't know about Daddy because Daddy's not here with us. Yeah. Walk we'll Daddy later. Yeah. Daddy is dark sidious. Dark Daddy is. Dark. Not dark. Dark. <laughs> Darth TH, Darth Daddyus. No, Daddy said Darth Daddyus, not Darth Daddyus. It's Darth Daddyus. Daddy said Darth. If he's dark, then he's not a Sith Lord. <laughs> it's Darth Daddyus. <laughs> who has turned to the dark side. Dark Daddyus. So that he could scare little kids on like, Halloween. Like this. Dark Daddyus. <laughs> Wait, why not Darth Daddy's Pineapple Bliss? Three, two, one. I'm sure the pages of our lives. This is what dinosaurs do. That's what dinosaurs do by Jory John and Pete Oswald. Wait, I had to be. This is what dinosaurs do. Okie dokie. So we found a really awesome book in the library today because today is reading day. And there was a whole dinosaur section. Some of the books were really old and kind of icky, so we didn't touch them. But then we found this new one, which I don't even know how new it is. Not very new. It's from 2019. But it's by Jerry John, the maker of... The Bad Seed, or I should say the author of The Bad Seed. And since we like the whole seed series, and we like dinosaurs, Dinosaur Robot of All Dinosaurs, you ready to dig into this book? Yes. Yes. <laughs> there are people waiting at this a bus is stop. The that was the time. With a bush behind them. The dinosaurs. Perish. There are people waiting at a bus stop with a bush behind them with eyes. A human bush. A human bush. There are eyes on the bush. What does that say? Boo! It says roar. A dinosaur jumps out of the bushes and scares the people at the bus stop. Roar! Dinosaurs will perish. The dinosaur, no, the dinosaur is hopping is on a bouncy stick, scaring the kids in a playground. A pogo stick, not a bouncy stick. Pogo stick, excuse me. Roar! A dinosaur drives a tractor and scares a group of sheep. Mm, that's the time the dinosaurs perish. Dinosaur is in bed. William had a really great weekend. Oh, the dinosaur's name is William. So we've learned. But now his throat hurts from way too much roaring. This is so cool. It's a dinosaur, not with a people sheet or blanket and people curtains and people lamp. The way That's people nice. have dinosaur blankets and dinosaur lamps. And, dino and dinosaur toys, instead of having human toys, he has dinosaur stuff. That's weird. I think he should have human stuff since he likes scaring humans. Like human toys, like dolls. That and stuff. Wait, like humans human should toys have. Humans. humans should have dinosaur toys. Dinosaurs should have human toys. Yeah. But of course, we can't tell dinosaurs what to do. So, if that's what they're gonna do, that's what they're gonna do. Dinosaur dolls are like human dolls. So, William went to the doctor. Mommy, 
He opened his mouth wide. And what's inside? Dinosaur robot of all dinosaurs. What's inside the dinosaur's mouth? Sun, yes. Um, Fireman is finding bad guy. That's Bane. And that's someone else in the library playing toys. But we're reading. Okay. And you're completely enamored. Okay. Okay. Spider-Man doesn't lose. That's what you're going to do? Okay, go ahead. Okay, so go ahead. Make sure you ask nicely if you can play with her. I don't want to play with them. Well, you can't just take the toys out of their hand. That's like being a monster, which we're learning about. Dinosaur. Back to the dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosaur, you are very tired. Let me take this out, this out. But what's in the doctor's out. mouth? What did the doctor find? What is in the dinosaur's mouth? What did um, the doctor find? Um, I'll take it out. What a is it? A fishing rod, a bicycle, and a football. That's a soccer ball. Well, yeah, it's a football, but in America we say soccer ball. Soccer ball. Rest of, around the rest of the wall, world, that's a football. Mommy, don't. Don't touch the teeth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bicycle. Wait, why did you, why did you eat a bicycle, fishing rod, and, and a, a football soccer ball thing? I have no idea. I thought he was just scaring Mommy. people. I didn't know he was eating people, too. Mommy. And I don't know. Mommy, be careful. Okay. Like, yes, wait, void the teeth. Why did the ball not get punctured? Because he didn't bite it. He just <laughs> scooped it up, and it got stuck in his throat. No more roaring for a week, the doctor proclaimed, and I mean it. Yeah. Roar? asked William. Yeah. Exactly, said the doctor. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Don't do, Don't do it. No roaring for a week. Don't do what? But how can I not roar, thought William. Mm -hmm. That's what dinosaurs do. And that's, that's like asking a human child not to speak. That's what they do. Y'all talk. We're asking y'all not to ask questions. Yeah, ask questions. Do you know this word right here? S-A-D? William was? William cannot. But he was S-A-D. What is S-A-D? He was S -A -D. Sad. Sad. sad, down, distraught, depressed, drained. Roaring was his life. Now what? Maybe he should start stop inhaling random objects. That too. You have to learn how to control whoa, his roaring. Whoa. But look at that. He was depressed and even drained by not being able to be himself. He did want he did want to get better, so William completely stopped his roaring. Even bandaged his mouth closed. I don't know how he's gonna eat. How are you gonna eat? It was not easy. Especially the fact that he didn't eat. There were just so many great opportunities to roar, like at the taco truck. Sigh. He walked away, and everyone cheered. Wait, Mommy. At the baseball game. Wait, Mommy. He showed up. People were nervous. Wait, Mommy. He didn't roar. They mommy. were happy. Mommy. Sigh. Mommy. Yeah, baby. Opposite of sad. Opposite of happy. Opposite of sad. Opposite of happy. Opposite of... Opposite of sad. Opposite of happy. Mm-hmm. Opposite of sad. Mm-hmm. Opposite of happy. Yep. That's the differences between random. the people and the, and the dinosaurs. And say something random. So, like... At home, like, I was sitting in the office, 
and like this same bird kept running into the window like the exact same window over and over and over again i don't know why did it think i was gonna open the window or something okay that's very random because we're, we're reading a book about a dinosaur right now Okay. Opposite of happy. So William went to the farm, opposite and the animals of, were the opposite, opposite of happy. Opposite of happy. Opposite of sad. Mm -hmm. Opposite of happy. Opposite of sad. Then he the tides turned because William became sad. Tear coffee, whatever he's drinking. Well, it has a tea bag in it, so it's it's tea. Okay. I think it's tear soup. As embarrassing as it was, poor William decided that he must live a life of silence. He sat in his chair and stared at the wall and drank cup after cup of chamomile tea with Can honey. Chamomile? Mm -hmm. What is chamomile? It's a soothing, calming tea made from a flower. Not roaring is so boring, thought William. It's no fun when a dinosaur loses his roar, even for a week. On Tuesday, William moped around his garden. On Wednesday, William remained inside his house. Did you remember in Jurassic World, the dinosaurs perished a fire? Mm-hmm. I remember. On Thursday, William stayed under the covers all day. He's really depressed. On Friday, William could barely stand it. He had to roar again. William ba went back to the doctor. Ooh, I touched the teeth. Ooh. Thank you for healing me with your powers. I don't have powers anymore. Oh, okay. I lost all my powers. I'm sorry. Oh. Careful, don't touch the teeth. It looks a little better, William, said the doctor. Still not great, though. Roar? Are these Asked William. Are these lungs? No, that's the tongue. Are these lungs? No, that's the t roof of his mouth. That's his gum. Gum? Mm-hmm. If you put your tongue to the top of your mouth, that's, that's what you see there. That's what you feel with your tongue. That's what you see. It's behind your teeth. Roar, said William. You may roar, said the doctor, but if you roar too much, your throat will surely hurt again. <coughs> Outside the doctor's office, William spotted the mailman, who smiled and waved. William waved back. He felt something bubbling inside of him. William knew... He shouldn't Mommy, roar the at the nice one. mailman. I'll do this one. Is he having a crisis of conscience? I'll do this one. Okay. Hold on. But he did it anyway. That's a good roar. Because that's what dinosaurs do. And the mailman dropped they the mail roar, and roar, ran roar, away. Roar. Mommy, do you know what the dinosaur song is? Roar, 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 Dinosaurs go roar. Dinosaurs go roar. William spotted some kids at the playground. He got on the swing. He doesn't know how to use a swing or a slide. He knows how to use Wait, it. Mommy? He's just too big for it. Mommy? Wait, this is like the nervous T-Rex. They were having a lot of fun. William liked fun, so he joined them on the swings and on the slide. I'm surprised the slide didn't crush. And also opposite, the swings that opposite of sad. Fun being on the Mommy, let me swing. Say that. Opposite of sad. Opposite of sad. Rumbering. Happy. Whimpering. Shared. And he's Roar! roaring. <laughs> so William spotted some kids at the playground. They were having fun. William liked fun, so he joined them on the swings and on the slide. While he played, William knew he shouldn't roar at all at the kids. But 
Then he felt a new roar bubbling up inside until he just couldn't help himself. <laughs> because that's what dinosaurs do. <laughs> William spotted some people waiting for the bus. He waited. Fact, dinosaurs don't like waiting. And waited. Fact, they like roaring. So he... Yep. That's, That's what dinosaurs do. Roar! William rode the bus all the way home. At his stop, the driver said, Have a nice weekend, William. Look at that. He's hanging out the bus, and the bus got one on it. Mm-hmm. It's an advertisement for... Are they going the Bad Seeds in theaters now. Are they going to go watch The Bad Seeds for real? Maybe, but it's just an advertisement to let you know that you can go to the movies I go see that movie. to see it. I want to see that movie trilogy. Is that a real movie? William turned and smiled, his nicest, toothiest smile. Then he roared in the driver's face. <laughs> What was that for? asked the driver. There was only one answer to his question. That's what dinosaurs do. I mean, dinosaurs don't exactly speak English. You're not allowed to turn this page. You're not allowed. If you roar, you're you're allowed to turn this page. Okay. William had another great weekend. He roared the hair out of everybody he encountered. No, he's here. He roared. The dinosaur out of the humans. Okay. Roar! Roar! Even... Wait, mommy, mommy, do you know what this is called? Roar. Roar. Yeah. He even How... wor- roared at a squirrel. How could just a single roar share a tiny yeah. little squirrel from a, a big old dinosaur that's loud with a big mouth? No. With teeth no, that are not, hovering no, over his a, body? No, not from a T-Rex. From a tall um, branch or tree. Still skinny. But he's not in a branch or tree. He's in the ground. I forgot what home trees are called. Just trees. Well, they can be, well, they can be called something else than that. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. Because I learned about that. I know you learn a lot of stuff. Back to the book. The townspeople gathered in front of William's house and demanded an apology. Even his doctor was there. No more throats. Roar. X. Quiet. Exclamation point. But William wasn't sorry for roaring. Not one One bit. bit. You want to know why? Because he didn't care. Because that's what dinosaurs do. No, no, the last. Let me read that. Read this. Okay. No more sore throats. Roar X. Quiet. Exclamation point. But William wasn't sorry for roaring. Not one bit. Because, Do you know why? Because dinosaurs... That's what dinosaurs do. 
Exactly. Baby shark, do 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 do, baby. <laughs> baby shark, do do do. Mommy, did you know baby shark breaks windows no. and glass? I... Baby shark, do 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 do. You can end the podcast. Da 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 da. Baby shark, baby shark, baby shark. Goodbye. Like and subscribe and share. Goodbye. What's the name of the podcast? I'm sure pages of her lives. Baby shark, do, do, do. Hey, listeners. Now's your chance to not only be one of our listeners, but to become one of our readers as well. That's right. Our debut book, Unschooled Discoveries, Venturing to the Unknown, is now available on Amazon. You can ask an adult to help you order a copy or even download the ebook. That's Unschooled Discoveries, Venturing into the Unknown by Danny Oliver and Ivy Brathwaite. Illustrated by me, Danny Oliver. Check it out. When you finish reading the book, please be sure to leave a review or even send us a voice message to our podcast with your review so we can put it right here on our podcast. See you next time. This has been Halloween Edition. Thank you for joining us for our seven nights of fright. The next day, the very next day. I'm pretty sure that the holiday that comes after Halloween is Dwali. It's it's Day of the Dead, Halloween. There's what happened like. Do they happen together? No, it's Halloween, Day of the Dead, which lasts a week, and then Dwali, which lasts a week. And tell us when Christmas is coming. Oh, Halloween. Why are you obsessed with Christmas all of a sudden? I'm not obsessed with Christmas. You've been talking about it all day. Mm -hmm. I remember talking about that. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.